Good morning. I'm Phil Hurd, the inspector of the organized crime section here at the Vancouver Police Department. In April 2023, the Vancouver Police Department launched Project Talon an investigation into an organized crime group originally from Quebec that was operating in Vancouver. This 14 month investigation revealed that individuals associated to this gang, Zone 43, had established themselves in Vancouver's illicit drug trade. Recently, on May 14th, investig investigators executed five search warrants, three in Vancouver and two in Burnaby. Investigators have recovered more than 24 kilograms of illicit drugs, including seven kilograms of fentanyl, 11 kilograms of cocaine, two kilograms of methamphetamine, and four kilograms of cutting agents, including toxic benzodiazepines. Investigators also seized two handguns and over $150,000 in cash. I steadfastly believe that these impressive results are the direct result of the dedication and professionalism of our investigators and civilian professionals. Our staff are committed to combating organized crime groups operating in our community, especially those from other jurisdictions that seek to establish operations in Vancouver and profit from the sale of toxic drugs. When the search warrants were executed, five men were arrested and were subsequently released pending further investigation. These individuals and other persons identified during the course of the investigation will have numerous charges recommended against them once the investigation is complete. We will continue working with our law enforcement partners here in BC and across the nation to target organized criminals, combat their involvement in the illicit drug trade, and suppress the violence that is associated with their operations. Thank you, and I'm happy to take any questions that you have. Can we get the names of the people who've been charged? Uh, unfortunately, no, not at this time. As soon as charges are recommended and approved uh, by Crown Council, we'll be happy to follow up and, and release names of all the individuals and the charges that are approved. Thank you. Uh, so Zone 43, I reported about a year ago, has an affiliation with politically, but that still be the case. That's, that's still my belief, uh, and I, you know, I read your journalism very, very on point, uh, I will say, and yes, still believe that um, you know, they are, uh, pose a very significant risk to the public. Uh, they're involved in a well-documented um, conflict ongoing in the province of Quebec with a rival group called the Prophet Boys. What else can you tell us about this uh, Quebec gang? Like how big are they? Are they in other provinces? Do we think that they are still operating in Vancouver despite this investigation? Uh, I will say that yes, uh, despite the investigation, uh, until charges are recommended, we believe that there are still members here. Um, but ultimately, when charges are recommended, whether those individuals remain in BC or they travel to other Canadian, uh, other jurisdictions, we will do everything in our power to locate them, arrest them, and repatriate them to bring them to justice here in BC. Um, as I mentioned, they are involved in a in a conflict with a rival group. Uh, in mostly the, the Montreal area. We've seen you know, very serious acts of violence uh, and we've been uh, partnered well in the, or in the investigation with our partners from Quebec, both the Provincial Police, the Surete du Quebec, uh, as well as the uh, Montreal Municipal Police, the SPVM, or the, uh, uh, the Service de Police de la Ville uh, de Montreal, I believe, uh, SPVM. So, uh, both have been great partners and on a couple of occasions we've worked together uh, to locate individuals here that were wanted by other agencies and repatriate them uh, to those locations. When you say that uh, they're looking for the back of the country, uh, the back members uh, want to make charges and want back, uh, uh, what are the chances that there might be further gang violence here? Is this guy trying to it's a great question and, and definitely that's why combating this group was a focus for us. Uh, you know, when we see organized crime groups, you know, if they're domestic, of course, if they're, if they're from BC, we're obviously interested in combating them. But those crime groups that uh, move into BC present a unique threat because of the fact that they're likely going to destabilize the region. They're going to be looking to take over, you know, drug lines, drug turf, and that ultimately oftentimes in our experience will lead to conflict and acts of violence. So a super high priority for us.
offense of police other drug gangs. With these guys moved out and uh, the, uh, the wolf pack, uh, I mean, uh, the head cut off. How serious a threat is all of them? I'll say, you know, definitely still a high priority uh, threat, both in BC and across the nation. I think uh, police leaders across the, the nation will be united in that message. And really any organized crime group, you know, regardless of the name, whether we see, you know, locally Hells Angels, BK, Bebo, uh, United Nations, regardless of the organized crime group, these are all, we know, uh, very violent, very dangerous individuals, and they're all a priority for us to combat.